We have understood the most common mistake for table tennis technique. Today, we learn the mistake when choosing the first racket. A player asked, I'm new to table tennis, which racket should I buy? I won't tell you the mark of the table tennis racket that you should buy because the racket quality and table tennis evolve with time. Of course, you are new to table tennis and you may hear about the best equipment nowadays like Butterflies, Tiga, DHS, Donic, Tiba, Zula, etc. But each year, there are hundreds of new plates, racket, and rubber are released. How to choose your best racket as a beginner? But I want to show you the right way and some mistakes to avoid when choosing your first racket. In your career, you will change, upgrade several rackets. Based on your improvement, you could choose the faster or harder racket. As a new player, never buy a pre-made racket with cheap, good quality and very thin rubber. This is a very bad for your learning. Bad and trip good will eliminate all of the good vibration to your hand. Too thin rubber forces you to open more your racket to spin the ball, which is a very bad habit. Never choose a too soft rubber. Softer than 40 degree on your forehand side and softer than 35 degree on your backhand side. If you want to improve fast, choose the hardest rubber that you can manage to hit. The harder you choose, the faster you improve. Chinese kids always play with the hard rubbers. Never choose a too light plate, lighter than 80 gram. The heavy plate is not comfortable to play with at the beginning but it will prevent you from the bad habit of some players, hit only by the wrist. Some new players just love playing with the very light plate because they have a bad habit, hit with only the wrist. Heavy plate forces you to use your body and develop the full mechanism of the stroke. Never choose too thin rubber thinner than 1.8 mm. Some coach just ask the new player to play very thin to very thin rubber 1.5 mm. No. Playing with too thin rubber, the new players tend to open more his racket and thin rubber makes the ball to bottom out very soon. So the players need to open more the racket to top spin and to compensate for this bottom out. This is a very bad habit. The ball is weak and less accurate. You will not improve fast with this setup. Never choose too hard, too fast played. Another big problem of the new players, they always want faster, faster and faster, but they don't know how to spin the ball. Chinese philosophy about table tennis is the blade give the feeling the blade is your hand that is the rubber and your power will give the speed to the ball never change equipment because they tell you this one is better for each type of blade and rubber try to stick with them for at least six months try to discover your equipment don't just buy and try in only two hours and conclude you are wrong each type of equipment has its own advantage try to figure it out and understand why you need to change to have more speed more speed low throw attack style more control etc understand your playing style your technique first and then change your racket later And remember, as a new player, feeling and speed are the most important. 
My best advice if you want to improve fast in table tennis, believe it, this message is not to promote any equipment, it is for you based on my own experience of coaching and playing. Yes. Yes. Yeah.